doing an ice smashing video. It was going to be smashing the leftovers of ice experiment, but I didn't realize I waited so long that the ice melted. <laughs> like it was literally stuck to the ground here. My mom said it come off. Now it's not there. So we froze our own two blocks of ice so Kate and I can smash them and we're going Look to- Look it, it's like hollow. Hollow, and we're gonna, of mine. we're gonna flip them over. Right now, I'm flipping mine first. <laughs> oh my god! You failed. You put a big hole in it. <laughs> Look it. There's a hole in it! Don't touch, don't touch, it could mess it up. Ow, ow, they're spiky. Now I think I should dump it out on the grass because we're gonna be hitting it with a mallet. It won't come out, it won't come out! Zoom in. Okay, look at this mess so though. Okay, so we got mine out. Why won't do stuff on the inside that won't get off the It's okay, just smash it over. I wanna eat it, but it's on the ground. Yeah, fix it. Sorry, I'm okay. not pointing. Okay, so now we're going to dump hers, but we have to move over here to dump hers. Mercy! Okay, come on. Okay, I want to dump mine. Let me do it. Okay, you can. Don't break the thing, we need that. I know that's how hard, it's so hard. <laughs> you do it. Oh, I can't do Fine, it. Fine, here you go. Oh my goodness. Okay, just peel off the ones that like to stick to the bottom and infuriate me. It looks like glass. It does look like glass. Here, it's, you can eat these. No, I'm joking. Look it. It looks like shards of glass. Okay, time to mash. Go! Get it time to here. mash! Yeah! I mash first. We're doing book recommendations at the end. Well, before I sign off. Can I do one of my books for the recommendations? Sure, we'll do two book recommendations. Okay, you better get the phone out of the way. Don't smash the phone. I'm not smashing my iPhone. Look at that mallet. It's like... Oh! Oh! Mm -hmm. Oh. There's no hole in the ground. <laughs> okay. The piece doesn't like me. Look at it. it. Okay, look at this hole. It escaped death there. It escaped death there. And escaped death here. And it shouldn't escape death here. Oh goodness! I was doing. Hold <laughs> this. Hold no, this. no, like no! Me. It don't like me. It doesn't like you. <laughs> it seriously doesn't like look, you now. Look. <laughs> it went like an inch into the ground. Well, now I know how to plant my seeds. <laughs> <laughs> Make a hole in the ground with a mallet. Okay. Smash so we have to the smash pieces. the rest. All pieces. That's a bad idea. Oh my goodness! Move it over. Look here. at it. It's escaped ah! death four times. Everything's so much brighter. It's like, it's like nighttime okay. to her ass. It's so. <laughs> if I don't hit this, I'm going to scream. Yay! Oh, yes. You, I want to smash some of mine for now. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Ugh. Catch the big piece and then I get to. Ah! Oh my god! <laughs> no. I see. Many holes in the ground? <laughs> yeah. So you're right. Look at that. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna be safe. I'm gonna... No, don't do it. <laughs> Did it break? No. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> Move. Did it break? No. It didn't break! There's a scratch in it. There's a scratch, but it didn't break. It's a scratchy? I scratched it's a it. scratch, but there's... No, put it down! Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> it doesn't work. <laughs> eh, eh, eh. Don't let the piece of ice 
lid, you gotta hit it with a hammer. Who wants slushies? <laughs> Maybe I should just start going like this. How oh, that works, so I actually remember to film this stuff. This piece of ice should have lived. This piece of ice tried to escape you. It should have lived. That works. This <laughs> one. I'm making holes in the ground. Okay, guys, for the book review, today we have, um, Hooray for Fly Guy, and the backing says, Will coach put Fly Guy in the big game? Will the coach put Fly Guy in the big game? That's what you want to find out in the book. Ted Arnold. Ted Arnold, Hooray for Fly Guy is by Ted Arnold. Arnold book and it's Star Wars Ahsoka by E.K. Johnston. So it says Ahsoka has reached out for him again. Time for his hands and fingers and for the balance of weight borne by his hips and knees. She felt something awaken her. Every combat lesson Anakin had ever taught. She remembered how to stand and how to hold the blades. She pushed pushed her opponent's fingers too far apart and overturned his balance. She remembered and he and she could make him forget. He staggered back surprised at her pow at her power over him, even at arm's length, not yet overcome. I have a sense of power, he said, and you do not have even enough to resist me for much longer, weaponless as you are. That was where he was wrong. Ahsoka wasn't weaponless. No Jedi ever was. See you in a sec. Don't launch it. Smash! <laughs> Hope you guys have fun. See you later. Bye!